Number 15 then from paper two of the 2019 National Five. Three marks for simplifying these fractions here, these algebraic fractions. Express this as a single fraction in its simplest form. And don't worry about that, that's just a bit of mathematical legalese that says that you can't divide by zero, so x can't be a two or a negative five. Well, if you're adding fractions, or subtracting fractions, you have to have the same denominator. So you have to find something that both of these denominators will divide into. They'll both divide into their product. That will always work. Sometimes it's more than you need, but in this case, that's exactly what you want. Well, now you're going to have to change the numerator accordingly. This denominator has been multiplied by x plus 5, so the top has to get multiplied by x plus 5 minus... Now, this denominator has been multiplied by x minus 2, so the top will also have to be multiplied by x minus 2. Now, we'll just leave that part alone. Don't multiply that out. There's no need to do that. It's actually neater to have it factorised. It could also turn out that maybe something might cancel down with one of them. Anyway, now you've got to sort out the numerator. 4 times this, 4x plus 20 minus 3 times that, 3x, watch, negative, negative, plus 6. So, what happens on top? 4x take away 3x is a single x. Still hope for a cancellation? Not now. Plus 26. So, despite the fact that that won't cancel out either of those, it's neater to leave it in this factorised form. Number 16 then, it's just simplify this expression, it's an indices question. Well, the first thing we'll do is we're going to write it in index form, first of all. So, the square root of a is a to the power a half, power on top, root underneath. Where else would you find the roots? Then, there's only one number there, there's only one coefficient, nothing's going to affect that, so it's definitely a 3. There's only one letter there, so there's only be one letter in the answer, it should be 3a. But, now, I'm just combining it in one go. If you're multiplying terms of the same letter, you add their powers. I'll just emphasise that that's power 1. So the top will be 4 plus 1. I'm just going to put it in one big go. If you're dividing terms with the same letter, you subtract the powers. So the answer to the top will be minus the half. So that's going to be 3a to the... Now you've got 5 take away a half, which is 4 and a half, but you never write 4 and a half for a power, because you want to, for an index, because you want to see the two parts, the power and the root. So even though that, that comes to 4 and a half, I'll write it as 9 upon 2. I'm sure that's sufficient for the answer. Power 9 root 2. You could rewrite it with a square root, as in the square root of a to the 9, but I'm pretty sure that that's all that they're looking for.